Well, it has been a hot minute since I last played this one. Like, God, how long ago was it? Like, actually, I need to look it up. It's been a hot minute since I last played this game. <laughs> oh man, like I talk about neglecting games in my in my log. SMT5 got neglected due to both Yakuza 4 and Elden Ring. Uh, when was my last one of this? My last time I ever streamed... I streamed, uh... SMT5. Was close to around two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I hadn't finished Unsighted at that point. So... Yeah, it has been a hot minute since I last streamed this. So, we're finally continuing. Hope all of you are doing well. I'm doing fine myself, just... surviving, as you do. And we went through some fairly tough boss encounters, I think, last time. Uh, we beat up a really... We beat up, like, this dude in charge of a big old demon castle. And after that, they were like, all right, you did your thing. You did a good job in beating up the beating up the guy. Now let's, you know, discuss the next plan. So the Demon King is dead then. You're a credit to Bethel, Japan. That was no small feat. Yeah, we beat up the Demon King. Uh, we had a really tough fight against him. He was a tough one, but we did it. Yeah, Master Abdiel said that too. So, did we save Tokyo? Is the world safe now? No. I'd say the true battle is about to begin. What? What do you mean? I said it before. The real Tokyo is long gone. This Tokyo is a sacred simulacrum, restored by the power of God. But its time is running out. The world is fracturing, collapsing. Oh my god, it is a lot like Razafan. If this demonic conqueror in Algami's report really did kill the creator, all his divine miracles must be waning. Mmm. Okay, so it's like, all right, you kill the spell caster, now the spells are going to be starting to f the teeter out a little bit. Slaying the Demon King did much to protect the world at large, but Tokyo itself is now on the brink of destruction. What? So, our course is clear. As of Your tie today, is still really I dumb. I will be declaring my independence from Bethel. Huh? You're leaving them. If we want to save Tokyo, we have only one option left. To take the throne of Anahobino and craft a new world. Uh, what? But Bethel HQ remains doggedly opposed to this. Which makes them our enemy, I'm afraid. But... But what about Abdiel's massive thighs? So heresy is our only option left. Uh, uh, World creation has been forbidden, but... So essentially it's like, okay, we worked with Bethel to create this... Uh, to beat down the demons that had been repressing Tokyo. And now that we have the chance to take... To create a new Tokyo, we're going to defy the people. And you're going to be our new creator. Congrats, have a cookie. You're just ditching Bethel? To take the throne is to deny the creator's will and deny the laws he created. And to betray those laws is to betray Bethel itself. All right, so we're going to have a boss fight with Abdiel in the future. But Master Abdiel was good to me. I'm nobody special, but she still helped me. Why do we got to betray them like this? We could just ask them to help us save Tokyo, right? Tokyo's faced apocalyptic destruction before. But the Archangel dismissed us, said it was oh. And a Bethel, bereft of God, has even less stake in our future. Ugh. Oh, that's ne- Oh. Anytime that tragedy strikes, you never say it's destiny. No. 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 Oh. Ugh, that felt bad. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we're just humans. Ordinary people. How can we go against the angels? I killed a principality a while back. Quite easily, with my help. 
I am their equal in power. No. I am an even higher being. What? What are you saying? I am a Redditor. I suppose you three deserve to know. The truth is, I am no human. I am Sukuyomi of the Amatsukami, one of Japan's eldest guardians. Sukuyomi? No, it's Sukiyomi that I was thinking of. Never mind. What? Bethel's cooperation did help us protect Japan, and I am grateful to God for saving Tokyo. However, with the Creator dead, we are no longer bound to Bethel's will. Instead, we will fight to protect our home, even if they refuse to. So the truth comes out. I'll cut to the chase. Sometime soon, Bethel HQ is going to hold a summit. A meeting between all international branches. I would have you three accompany me. What? Us? Seriously? I expect many other branches in attendance, and depending on how the discussions go, things may escalate. Violently. However, Bethel Japan's lost most of its regular fighting force. Casualties of Armageddon. As such, you three will be attending as my bodyguards. Security detail, at least on paper. Uh... <laughs> I'm with Ichiro here, he's like... The f... Yeah, security detail, look at me! Understood. When the dates are set, I will contact you. Until then, your time is yours to spend. Okay. Interesting. All right. Do you have a sec? Can we talk for a bit? Let's see. How about we? How about up on the dorm roof? Hey, man. Uh, uh hey. What are they gonna talk about at the meeting with Bethel HQ? Do I even belong at a big fancy event like that? I mean, look at me. One of my pant legs is rolled up slightly higher than the other. I'm practically like an elder being that. I'm practically some kind of elder abomination. That deserves to be studied. Alright. So... Here. Seems like the demons have more corporal presence in this world. Okay. Sergeant Yakumo had a son, if I recall. A good kid, honorable just like his father. Hope this would run down too. When you live as long as I have, Sonny, you used to old haunts and familiar sights disappearing on you. But I'm still gonna go do that bath, the bathhouse every day. That ain't gonna vanish. God, someday I wanna be, I wanna try a bathhouse in Japan someday. Hopefully one that's tattoo friendly because you know, certain tattoos, certain times tattoos won't work. Although I did hear about a particular workaround when it came to tattoos in Japan. You know what I really think? My theory is that our current prime minister is an alien. Well, not like that'll fly on the Saturday morning, on the Sunday morning talk shows. I'll keep that one in my pocket for the end of the year TV specials. I mean. Do you know that there's a renowned research lab nearby? Strangest thing, okay. There's another Jack Frost. The demons are getting harder to cover up. Civilians are all over starting to notice. Hope the public doesn't dissolve into panic. The last thing you need is being reassigned to special riots. Just put up plywood shields for yourselves and then you'll... And actually, no. No, that's if the... Oh, no, never mind. Our company removed him recently. Now we've got our own cafeteria. Banquet hall for the warriors of the workplace. A tavern to stage... To state hungry bellies and... Sate hungry bellies and minds. That way they can get drunk on the clock. I like the sound of pier. Or calling someplace a wharf. It sounds so tasty and... Taste, that's some tasty seabard phonautics. Uh, is there any other... I 
I'm not really gaining anything out of these interactions, but they're interesting to see. By this weird creature that came out of the tunnel, but then this high schooler with glasses, one of the kids I've seen around, he saved me. At the time, I was too freaked out to do anything but run. I mean, he had a monster of his own, but I wish I'd thanked him properly. It's just like one of my animes! The other day, this cape man with a katana gave me this weird device. Seemed, seemed a little like a smartphone. He said I deserved it since I was grieving over humanity's future. Wonder if I'll ever know what he really meant. Cosplayers, man, their their logic is weird. Prime Minister is the one who pulled out the country out of that recession too. Aside from his accomplishments, okay. seems to be everything. Oh, what? Uh, uh near automata? It seems you've noticed as well. How could this be? Tokyo is oh, okay, so this vanishing. is the uh, illusion going away. Got it. The Shekinah glory is unraveling. Tokyo was actually destroyed once, almost two decades ago. But God copied it back into existence, preventing any further anarchy. Copy-paste. That was God's greatest modern miracle. The Shekinah glory. However, with God defeated, that miracle has begun to dissipate. Along with the city that depended on it, if we don't act fast, Tokyo might disappear forever. Incoming message from Bethel, Japan. Tomorrow, a pandemonic summit will be held with all of Bethel's leadership. The summit will be held in the netherworld. We are to await further orders at the Tokyo Diet Building. All right, then. The next day. But yeah, uh, there were also some side quests we took care of in the uh, last time we streamed this as well. And in fact, I think... Augmented Goddess... Yeah, Ishtar, we beat her up. Had She had a fucking kick-ass battle theme. Holy shit, she had one. Uh, I think the only sub-quest we have left is... The one with the dragon. That's like level 70. And we are definitely not ready for that yet. Well. <laughs> Are you prepared Excuse for me. the summit? It's shaping up to be a rather intense meeting, considering that the Japan Division intends to break away from Bethel. Every country will be represented at the summit, so this is sure to cause quite a stir among many. Be sure to exercise caution throughout. I'm anxious already. Perfectly understandable. However, there's nothing to fear. I shall protect you. After all, we will be attending a pandemonic summit. Nigh anything can happen during such an event. I do not tell you this to cause concern, though. I merely recognize that you were dragged into this situation and that you deserve a full understanding of it. Yeah, he was like, man, I'm, I was just in the middle of watching somebody film a TikTok in a tunnel and then suddenly I'm in a desert and there's a bunch of demons and hot demons and other demons. I wish to see you rise against any obstacle in your path and use the circumstances to your advantage. It will be crucial to your survival. Okay. So it's the Tokyo Diet Building that we need to go to. It's the Demon King's Castle. Yeah, there was one side quest that was... Uh, was it there or was it... Where was it again? I think it was... Yeah, it was it wasn't Minato. 
The problem is that dra that gold dragon is level 70. I am not risking a fight there. So, we'll just go to the terminal room of the diet building. Because, yeah, th like, that fight looks like it'll be a toughie. Pardon me. Master Abdiel will arrive shortly. Afterwards, the transport to the summit hall prepared by Shiva will be will take place. This way. Now line up over here. Oh no, the pop in. Oh honey. <laughs> Good. You're here. Time for that security detail. Let's go, you two. Ah, if it isn't the champion of the Arioke campaign himself, we surely could not have triumphed without your strength. Mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, you mommy, do sorry. Me too much honor, Master Abdiel. I can only express my pride that the Japanese branch managed to serve Bethel's aims. Indeed, so. A duty I am sure you will continue to perform. Of course. I will go on ahead to the conference hall. Ensure you are not late. I can already tell this is going to be a mess. Well, that means we're up. Please direct Yuzuru and his friend when they arrive. Sure. Okay. I mean, it's not going to probably be any kind of major discussion that I have place in. Ooh. 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 These are all cool designs. I like them. Greetings. I, Konsu, represent Bethel, Egypt. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, I speak for the Greeks. The Greeks? And I, the Nordic branch. So that's Odin. I shall be filling in as Lord Shiva's proxy. What, did the Lord of Dance tire himself out? Lord Shiva simply refuses to sit in with the rest of you. Now, let's begin with this pandemonic nonsense and be done with it. Abdiel? Very well. As many of you are surely aware, we have recently achieved a decisive victory me, over the sneeze. legions of chaos. Okay, so... That's clearly Odin. The one in the gold, I can tell that. Konshu, I have no idea what... Well, he's from Egypt, so... Konshu... Egyptian... Egyptian god. Konshu is an ancient Egyptian god of the moon. His name means traveler, and this may relate to the perceived nightly travel of the moon across the sky. Oh! Oh! So he's the god of the moon. Cool. And I have no clue who the dude representing Greece is. Is that meant to be Heracles or or what? Cert, Ishtar, Ariok. Each of them were formidable in their own right, yet all lie slain at the feet of Bethel, Japan. Henceforth, all forces that marched into the Netherworld may retreat and return to their normal duties. I am unconcerned with the fate of Lucifer's thralls. What interests me is the Lord of Chaos himself. Yeah, Odin. Where is he took out the Creator? Tell me what you make of that. Clearly that falsehood was designed to lead us astray. Do not be deceived. Bethel must remain united. Except that our city is literally vanishing like a horrific graphical pop-in. How dim are you? You realize with the Creator gone, we might as well drop the pretense of an alliance altogether. It's... 
That's meant to be Zeus? That's meant to be Zeus. Huh. Certainly one of the more interesting versions of him that I've ever seen. True. I see no merit in joining forces. That's the Suki. Okay. Lord Shiver has in fact expected this and is already preparing our next move. Actually, let me check who is Vasuki. All right, Vasuki is the second king of the serpents in Hindu and Buddhist religion. Ah. Ah, I see. But yeah, that's supposed to be Zeus. I mean, I guess the lightning bolt on the arm would have done it, but that is not a version of Zeus that I've ever expected to see. Patience, everyone. Perhaps it would do us all well to step back and review our circumstances. Khonsu speaks wisely. Rather than acting rashly, let us each take a moment to reason amongst ourselves. This is a good opportunity to discern where each faction stands. Go and listen to what each of them has to say. Well, Konshu had a is sounding like a reasonable dude. See for yourself the creator's <laughs> almighty handiwork. See how the Earth's inhabitants lament their injustices and buckle under misfortune. Had we the authority, we would create a world of gladness where all are treated with equity and compassion. Okay, so that's Konshu, Vasuki. A time of great undoing is upon us. The word of Lord Shiva has been spoken. I must say, this world of flaws and contradictions fashioned by an absentee ruler is long overdue for renovation. They're just like, all right, we see that things are going wrong. We're going to go ahead and start making plans to remake it. So these guys are presumptuous. Konshu is like, oh, we would, want, we would do better if we had the ability. So this is meant to be Zeus. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I, I look in, I zoom in on the face there. Yeah, I can see it. It looks like a mixture between Hades and Zeus, though. Like, if both sides were this kind of, were like the, the right side, I could see it as Zeus, but it looks like Zeus and Hades fused together. Cool design. Cool, cool design. I'm just, I just didn't expect that this would be their interpretation of Zeus. If the creator's dead, his throne ought to be free for the taking. At least that's how it should work. Ugh, I'm sick of hearing babble from that winged wench and her automatons. Yeah, that's about as par for the core for Zeus as you could get. Odin? Long ago, the creator, in his boundless arrogance, issued an edict of condemnation, damning all gods to primitivity. This condemnation forbade the existence of Nahobino outright, thus preventing any challenge to his reign. Oh, how I long to break free of this curse. But wait, are you not a Nahobino? How could you have broken the shackles that bind us? Okay. So he's just like, I hate being restricted by the chains. He wants to see if he can get to the throne himself. This guy's all for the people. And these people are presumptuous. Okay. What do you think? I've always aspired to keep our city safe. To me, working with Director Koshimizu seems the most logical way to accomplish that. And now, with everything that's happened, it's clear to me that one almighty being isn't enough to protect Tokyo. Not by a long shot. That's why I want the world to be as the Director envisions. Where the gods of old watch over us, governing with their wisdom. I'm Japanese too, so I'm all for the idea of protecting Japan. Still, Master Abdiel's words make the most sense to me. Dude, get your head out of those thighs for a second and think without it. Yeah, think. Okay. 18 years ago, Tokyo endured the conception unwittingly. Now, with the Shekinah glory fading, the loss we face would be unbearable. We were wrong to place our trust in one god. Only a multitude of divine beings can give the world the proper attention it's... Furthermore, it is only right for us, the Amatsukami, to keep our land secure. 
Okay. The creator can never be defeated. But were that even to be true, surely he would rise up once more. Yes, we must await his glorious return. Until then, we join hands and guide our people. That is Bethel's duty. Hear me. Bethel's mission is to sustain this world. God's world. Any objections? Damn right there are. I say you cut the act and admit your God is dead and gone. He speaks true. Besides, Lord Shiva will soon bring this world to its proper end. On whose authority? If any being is to decide this world's fate, it will be me. Uh... Not while the condemnation stands, it won't. It is undeniable proof that the Most High still sits upon the throne. And how do you explain our city disappearing? Then how do you explain the Nahobino standing here before us? Are we to take it this god of yours deems him a worthy successor to the throne? They don't look at me, I just have blue hair and pronouns. But is he not the proto-fiend of Bethel? Has your god not chosen him? Very well. If his existence oh my serves God. as blasphemy, I cannot remain in ignorance. Oh no. Yep, she's gonna be like, Nahobino must die. Yep, figured as much. Witness. As I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth. Oh, oh, we're fighting now. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. I'm assuming she's going to be weak to dark, but let's take a spyglass anyway. 58. Oh, oh. This is not too bad. All right, weak to dark, reflects light, resists wind and lightning. Good to know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to swap you out because you don't get issues with me. Uh. New anyway, could work. Who else could work? Mm, no. Maybe Pazuzu? No. What about Moloch? That could work. Come! You have come. Ooh, I want to see what... Ooh, new animation. That's right. Oh, so that's what that looks like. Hmm. Ow. At least I have the counter. Oh, man, she hurts hard, though. I doubt I'm going to be able to poison her. Actually, did it say what her... No, not auto battle. That's right. Uh, oh, okay. She resists everything. Good to know. Uh, let's go... Resistant doesn't mean immune, so there is a small chance that I could actually be able to poison her. Small. Uh... Wait, did we actually... Okay, no, I thought it was a poison cloud over her. Um... 
Did it say what her... Did it say what her skills were? Light's Descent. Okay, she does have magic, but she seems very attack heavy. Very physical. Physical heavy. In that case... Lower defense. There. Forgot that I had the physical barrier on Moloch. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna put both barriers on Protag just to be safe. Can't be too careful about this kind of thing. Actually, let's do this. Boost healing skill for next turn. And then physical barrier on Protag. There we go. Oh, I can't have both. I can't have both on. Okay, that's actually good to know. So I can't have both barriers on. Shit, I did not mean to do that. Actually, no. Oh, no. No, that works out. There we go. No, I can't change out that way. I'm not going to be able to hit that, am I? Nope, didn't think so. Uh, let's instead... Yeah, swap to new way. Your turn. Go! Okay, so since that happened, let's do that. start the critical thing next round. Yeah. Oh, nice! Hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. Tempest. I'm gonna let this animation play out because it's really cool. Just to be safe, I'll have, I'll have New Way be the only one that attacks. There we go. 
Because that's also a fear. Yeah. Take this. Okay. Be a big party deal. Corruption. Corruption arc. God. Okay, well, one, I'm supposed to win that fight. I didn't save. <laughs> oh, I forgot that there's no auto save in this game. Oh, I have to go through all that again. All right, well, now that I know what I'm meant to look forward to, um,. Swap you out. And you know what? I might as well swap out Hydra, too. Oh, my God. I feel fucking silly now. Oh, my God. So the Demon King... Fast forward through all this, because we've been through this whole rigmarole before. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> you ever just go with the flow in a game to a to an extent to where you just forget completely that autosaves in this game don't exist. I have that problem sometimes, and it and it happens at the worst moments, man. Ugh. It sucks. It sucks so much. Alright, well now I know. Before the summit, save the fucking game. And maybe I could check on World of Shadows as well to see if I've got any, um... Got any fusions I can do. Do I have... I do! Uh... And that could get me something. That could actually get me something. Um... Agility... I haven't really been using these incenses, so I might as well get some of them off my system now. Oh, the bombs are for... Oh. Uh. Well, I feel silly. I thought all of these uh, booster items were for the demons. Wow. I've been sitting on a treasure trove of random boosts for nothing. Aiding Sutra. Port skill potential. Okay, that's about it for that. Okay, now. Jozoji? Oh, that's the temple we went to, right. With the dude that was like, here's the ley line pillar thingamabob. But yeah, I feel silly. I completely forgot to save, so I have to skip all this again. <sighs> All right, got it. Can I? Let me, let me. I can't skip this cutscene. Oh no! Yes, destruction. Our assets didn't load in correctly.
All right. Now then. Okay, so, first things first, save the game. Save the game. And then we can get into... Well, our... I forgot about this part. Anxious already. He's like, I'll help you become the biggest gaslight gatekeep girl bosser of all of them. Chronicle Deeds. All right, save. There. And... Do I have anything in Cadaver's Hollow I can do? Welcome. No, I don't have any meme rewards. Uh, do I have treasures? No. Need any. Uh. Cure status ailment. I could use more of these. These are good to have. Look into. <laughs> There we go. They need anything. Take it all? Let's see. Uh so now I have around fifty thousand maka or so. Welcome to the world. Oh, I have a new special fusion? Oh yeah! Th this is the boss that I fought before. Um that is Norn. I recognize that. That's Ishtar. That's Cert. Lamu. I can't fuse. I can fuse Black Frost, though. But would it be worth it to do that? Hmm. Let me see what other fusions I can make. Uh, can't make any because I'm one level behind. Oh. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks so much <laughs> that I can't fuse them. The, the, I can't fuse some cool demons because I'm one level behind. Damn it. Um, what about reverse compendium? Are there any that I can do? Kinki and Nue. Hydra and Anzu. Is this guy about darkness and stuff? He's weak to light, weak to ice. Eh. Don't think he's actually going to do very well for me. Aravaka, how about you? You're strong against dark and light, but weak against ice, and Abdiel had no ice skills. This guy could work. Who do you need? You need... Okay, I don't have anybody to mitigate the cost, but you definitely need Yoshitsune. Hmm. I'll think on that one. Dakarabia. Weak to light. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't need any convincing there. Uh, Cuckoo Lane. What? Who do you need? I'm gonna fuse with Edon to make. He's weak to lightning. She doesn't have any lightning skills. He'd be good to have as just a general physical damage dealer if all of my darkness people run out of MP. Protag included. And he has high agility, too. And and resistant to physical, so... He could be... He could be good. He could be good. I'll, I'll put a pin in him for now. Chernabog. Uh, you are definitely dark-focused. Uh, you're high on magic. Who do I need to fuse you? Okay, confuse the... Oh, God. Should I just do a little grinding? Would that be fair? Because... Uh, 
I think it'd be best if I did some grinding, honestly, because I think once I hit uh, the capabilities of uh, fighting, like once I hit level 55, I'll feel a bit more capable. Return. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to traverse back to mm, here or Childa. Are there any side quests that I haven't picked up? Yet? No, no, it looks like I picked up a, a lot of them. Uh, there's that, sh there's Shinigawa. I could do a lot of treasure collecting too. Okay, so Ishtar was there. The Demon's Castle place was there. I took care of all the abscesses, so there's no need to really take care of that any further. Uh, treasures, treasures, treasures. Wasn't there a glory thing that I missed? Oh, fuck, that's right, the glory crystal. I, I forgot. Oh, wait, never mind, I already used it. <laughs> Okay, um, in that case, it probably would be best if I at least gained another level. It would not hurt. And I probably would have to do it in the Demon King's castle because that offers the most experience. Or... I could probably use the money, though. This is a tough debate I'm having. Because I got all the glory little... glory founts, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. And, yeah, I'm still not attempting to fight that, um... I'm still not attempting to fight that golden dragon, because... He will stop me. I guarantee goddamn tea you that. He was level 70. Like, I was mistaking thinking, like, oh, no, he's level 50 or so. That's... So I could probably go back and fight him. No. <laughs> no. I'd get my ass handed to me on a comical level. I'd be, I'd be like the Wily e. Coyote just face-planted into the ground. All right, so... We're gonna do a little fighting. Actually, how much experience do I need before I can level up again? Oh god, a lot. It's only one level, so it won't be too bad. I just, uh... I just, I just would feel more comfortable getting up to level 55 at least, so I can do some fusions possibly, maybe be a little stronger. Maybe unlock some more stuff, who knows? <laughs> uh, it probably would be better if I went to the demon castle, though. Because these guys are, like, much weaker than me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like I'm about to go into the Demon King castle anyway. Because the, those, those, uh, these guys are not going to give me much experience. Alright, join me. That works. At least I got another demon to have the fuse. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go into Demon King's castle if I'm hoping to gain any experience. Oh. Well, at least I don't have to um, be relegated to just the first floor. Okay, so this was the Demon King's boss arena. Uh, is there anything else in here? Is there any chests? No, I didn't think so. Well, in any case, let's head back up to the previous floor. Oh yeah, this track. Mmm, this track's a flop. Okay, we should be able to reach the next level at this rate. Does that red line dude have a sword for a head? Uh, Flauros? I could, I could uh, show you his uh, lore if you'd want me to. Uh, just let me get past this fight first. Actually, do I even have a flower house in my party? I don't think I do. I'll have to go to the Wall of Shadows again to take a look. No, I don't have one in my party. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the Leyline Fount I was at earlier, because I actually need to recover, because these guys are fairly tough. But, uh... The sword was not actually uh, the guy's head. It's, um... It's part of the lore, I think. 
I can let me just move this around real quick. There. All right, let me find Flowers for you to explain the uh, the lore behind them. Well. Okay. Uh, Flowros, Flowros, Flowros. Where are you? Just hope I don't have that moment where I pass you up like four times and be like, where are you? There he is. Okay, so. One of the 72 demons of Goetia. He appears as a leopard and can see into both the past and future. He can also control fire, which he uses to burn his adversaries to death. There is, like... I mean... When you say appears as a leopard, I guess you don't really have any anything else to go by. I don't understand the sword handle in the head, but I guess they were just... As I said... A lot of the designs with SMT feel very, We're very, tired. very, very out there in terms of looks. You missed it earlier, actually. I um, We encountered Shin Megami Tensei version of Zeus. Like, a really cool, like an, an interesting version of Zeus that I'd never seen before in terms of how they designed him. <laughs> Oh my god, Moloch, you suck. Yeah, I don't understand SMT's reasoning behind having the leopard head have a sword. I, I, I really don't get it either. Like, there are some design principles that come up and I'm just like, what, what makes you think of this as your design process? But yeah, we're just doing a little bit of grinding because when I attempted to uh, go through with the story, I got my... Well, I had the rug pulled out from under me and then I forgot to save. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grinding a little bit to at least get to level 55 so that I won't be as caught off guard. So, if you're wondering why I'm going doing this, that's why. I wish I would run into a meat tomorrow or something to get more experience. But can't win them all, I guess.
At least we get to listen to cool music while I'm grinding. It's just going to take a hot minute, but we'll get there. We'll soon have level 55 in before we know it. But yeah, it's been a bit since I last did this game. It's... It's gonna, like, it's not like it's a t complicated game to have to remember, but it's, it's been a hot minute. Again, gotta thank Elden Ring for that. Motherfucker with that crushing onslaught. You know, Moloch, I think I'm gonna fuse you first. You've kind of been a veritable wet fart of a demon to have. Um, yeah, because all of them are, a lot of them are weak to ice. This is all because Moloch decided to miss, like a dumbass. I blame Moloch. God, Moloch sucks. Like he's just not, like he's just not doing it for me. I think the, the sword on the head for Flauros, I, <laughs> I can't tell you why I, like, is the sword handle the head? I don't know what the purpose of that, of this design is for. Like, what is this? Like, I get the leopard aspects. That makes sense, because it's literally described to be a leopard demon, but why, why, why the sword? What's with the sword? It never takes it out? Yeah, it's the other. I guess that probably does imply that it is its head. I, I, I guess? Maybe its body is the blade? That's an interesting interpretation of that. That's actually an interesting way to think about it. Um... Huh. 
I didn't even think about that. Hmm. That's actually a... That, that could make a lot of sense. Maybe. Like, again, I don't entirely get it, but... It, it's an interesting idea. Now, what are these weak to? Wind. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. Who has wind? You do, sure. Let's go. Zuzu's dead. Hmm. I've got a lot of fusing to do if I want to get these weaker guys off my team. <laughs> Or at least these guys that are underperforming. And just so I don't die accidentally. not having good luck with my attacking. It seems like I'll have at least two more fights to go before I actually uh, level up. I used Reddit to find an old bizarre game and it turned out pretty well. Well, Reddit can Reddit is like Twitter in a lot of ways. You can find you can make some interesting discoveries there that can lead to some really cool things that you never expected to find, or you can see some of the worst parts of the internet that make you think. Good lord, how the fuck did we land on the moon? How do we have a space station? Like, I've... I have... I, I use Reddit on occasion just to tr po go around on memes or something, just to find some funny videos occasionally. But I have seen some stupid shit there. Not to mention, Twitter's also been kind of a rough place lately due to, um... A lot of the drama that's happening. The game is called Freedom Digesis. I remember the game concept, but I don't know the game. I remember Vine Sauce playing it once and went to Vine Sauce Sub to see if anyone knew. Freedom Digesis.
Freedom Digesis. Glitch Wave Video Games Database. What? Wait, I'm seeing things like Bandcamp and stuff. Uh, this looks like a fan parody game. It's a, an obscure horror game. Right. I mean, I looked at some images and it definitely looks like something that could have a horror tone to it. been a lot of, uh, I've been seeing a lot of real controversial shit lately on Twitter, and I've, it makes me happy that the only reason I ever really use Twitter is to keep, keep up on news regarding indie games and, uh, or regarding games I'm interested in and using it to, like, post whenever I stream. Like, I don't really have many interactions with their outside of that. Like, I'll occasionally be like, hey, uh, Jordan, I found this thing, you want to do a dem, you want to do a demonstration on it? or try to interact with depths of some kind. And that's to, that's the furthest extent that I go. I don't try to go further than that, because if I do... Oh boy. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm... Like, it's not that I am gonna stay willful, willfully ignorant. I am seeing the general consensus, or at least the general knowing of know-how of what's going on. I just went and asked a question. Right, right. And this is... And for me, it's... Lately, it's more Twitter less than Reddit. If anything, Reddit's actually been kind of fine lately, but that's because I only am using it casually. That and also Reddit ends up being the butt of jokes um, in some... Uh, popular culture like that like that one scene in Invincible where the B plot uh, dude where the B plot dude who has that uh, stepdad is going to the hero's graveyard with his friend and he's like dude my dad could get a my dad could get arrested for the or my dad could lose his job for this man like we really shouldn't be here I feel bad doing this and then his friend just goes no, man, you don't get it. We'll be super powerful. I learned on Reddit that if you that if you drink out of the immortal skulls, you gain his po skulls skull, you gain his powers. I learned about it on Reddit. Like actually name dropping Reddit, which I did not expect. I found it very funny. Because honestly, that would be the kind of thing that Reddit would uh likely put up. One more fight and then we're good. One more fight. Hey. 
There we go. Excuse me, yawn. Had a big yawn. There we go. Okay. Let's go... Vitality, actually. I can do some Vit. Alright, there we go. Now then. Let's do some Fusing. Uh, and get ourselves ready for the upcoming boss fight. Yay. Actually, let me check it out as Hollow. Well, look who's... Okay, nothing there. Need any? F See you next time. Welcome to. Okay. Hypothesis, essence fusion. I just that's because I got the Oribus. Now, uh, are there any big miracles I can learn that would be helpful? Increase if any attacks null drains or repels. That'd be good for this upcoming fight. Oh, right. Okay. Fire Mastery, none of these. Actually, having Dark Mastery would help because we have a dark skill. Alright, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Let's grab this. You wish to learn. And then grab you wish to this. learn. Alright. This is confusing. Now, we can make Okuni Nushi, Hecatonkeris, and Skathon. Skathok. Skathok? Is that how you pronounce your name? I think that's it. Skathok. Um, affinities. She's weak against lightning, resistant against seal from the looks of it. And Hecatonkeris, weak to wind. Very physical heavy. Uh, weak to haziness and resistant to confusion. And o Okuninushi is definitely more physical. Okay, so he's a tank. He's a physical fighting healer. Hmm. Who fuses to make you? Yatagarasu. Yeah, might as well. She's basically just gonna be upgraded Yatagarasu. Okay. Let's do that. Um, don't need that right. Yes. Is this that demon? should do it. And what 
this play while I have some water and stretch a little bit. I'm sure. All right. And then the next is Hecatonkeries. Moloch, you suck, and I hate you. You suck. You're not that good. And Pazuzu. Actually, that's act. That's good to have. Um, what else does Pazuzu get? Eh, uh, things I've already got. All right, let's make him. Okay. Tetrakarakon. That's a good thing to have. Yes, yes, and that. Is this demon? Yep, that that's that's Hecatonkeries, all right. <laughs> Ooh, another special fusion. Oh, I can make cert. Well, okay. What else did he need? Flowers and Valkyrie. Hmm. Yeah, I could give. I could have the boss that gave me so much trouble before. Sixty-two, huh? Maybe. I'll think about that. Uh, who else can I make? No one else. Uh, let's see. Lamu or Black Frost? Hmm. I'm just trying to think on uh, on who would be good to make as well with the amount of money that I've got. Because, I mean, the major reason why you want to have so much money in the first place is to make these kind of uh, high-cost fusions. Because filling out the compendium is kind of a, you're a fun little completion thing to do. Um, I can make, I could make Chimera. Uh, does Nui have any skills left to learn? No, he doesn't. That might be the option. <laughs> get rid of Nui to get chim uh, Chimera. Yeah, I think that's the best option. All right, in that case, uh, what do you start with? Okay, you actually have pretty decent uh, stats for strength and magic. You seem inclined to fire and lightning. You're weak to wind. Draws an enemy hostility, but decreases your defense. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that kind of risky maneuver. Uh, Silky was ice and healing. 
Oberon. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's about time I get rid of Nue. Nue's been good, but I I I need to get something a bit stronger. Or actually Hmm. Probably not the Oberon because Yeah. All that skill variety I'd just be wasting. Okay, let's do this. That, that, and that. Is this demon to your life? That should work. Yeah, now we have a chimera. Okay, so you got a strong electricity skill. Medium physical attack to one foe and Ooh, keeping that. Greater chance of critical hit. If a critical hit, sorry. Um get rid of fierce roar. <laughs> okay. And then I I think that's all I can really make for now, right? I, mean, I could make this Sarasvati. No, no. Don't want to get rid of Clotho. Clotho's my big heal for right now. All right, looks like that's pretty much all I can do. Return. Okay. Now, let's arrange our party a little bit. Uh, okay. Hecatonkeries, you can be my... You can be over there. Skenthok, I think that's how I pronounce your name. Uh, you'll be on the backdrop. Uh, and Hydra, you'll be up here. There. We'll see how this arrangement goes. Let's save, and then we'll head straight in. But yeah, I had a, uh, I had a bit of a wrong assumption assuming that the boss would be easy. <laughs> well, not easy, but not as bad. Me. All right, gotta fast forward through most of the regular dialogue. I won't fast forward through the major cutscenes or anything. Oh God, it's still the pop in man. So yeah. Uh, Good, you're here. So it turns out uh, this boss guy here, he's a Time he's a deity, a really strong go, deity. And he's like, we're going to break away from uh, Bethel because their interests the don't belie, are not the same as our interests. Himself. So we're at we a summon. Could not have we're at a, a summons of sorts. You do me too much honor, Master Abdiel. I can only express my pride that the Japanese branch managed to serve Bethel's aims. Indeed so. A duty I am sure you will continue to perform. Of course. I will go on ahead to the conference hall. Ensure you are not late. All right. Yeah, so base... So the major deal is just... All right, we're gathering all the gods, all the different branches of this, of our peoples and such. I'll, I'll skip through most of these, because... Very well. Uh... All right. Once we get up to the actual dialogue to these four, you'll get to see who they are. I've always aspired... I'm always Jap aspired to keep Japan safe. Master Abdiel, sexy and right. 18 years. 
18 years ago for the blah, 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 blah. A time of great. Uh, Shiva's planning on already being the next ruler. So, this, this is supposed to be Zeus. This is supposed to be Zeus. Because they represent the, he represents the uh, Greek branch of the, of Bethel. Uh, and this guy is, uh, Khonshu. <laughs> God of the Egyptian god of the moon, and he represents Bethel of Egypt, and this is Vasuki, who's supposed to be a representative of the Hindu and Buddha, Buddhism sect of Bethel. Uh, and then we have Odin over here. Long ago, the creator. Odin looks pretty cool, no lie. But this interpretation of Zeus... It looks like if Hades and Zeus fused. It's so odd. So weird. It's a creator's dead. And of course, Zeus is a vain dick because he's always the been a vain dick. And then Abdiel's like, but our our God is an awesome God. Witness. And she's like, As okay, Nahobino, for your existence is kind of making it hard to prove that our God is still alive, so I'm gonna destroy you because you're a you're a living uh sin and I'm like if I'm a if I'm a sin then what do you call your thighs got him here all right leave to darkness She missed. All right, let's do the critical thing to just start off strong. Watch this. See how that goes. Corruption. Good damage. Very good damage. Okay. Lower defense again. Yeah, barf on her. One critical. It took one critical against me. RNG really did not want me to win that attempt. <laughs> that, okay. Um, the game is definitely being a bit crueler than I than usual. Like, did you see that shit? Alright, well, it looks to me like no matter what, I'm gonna have to have Protag defend at the at the end of all of his all of their turns. Cause that was just like that was comical. Almost how RNG was just like we are going to shit all over that good progress you made during that fight. Very well. Just damn. As many of. I'm Jack. Hates. Like, can I not? Is there not a save point around here just so I don't have to go through all this again? Shit. 
Long ago. But wait. A time of... Okay, let's try this again. The creator can... Witness, as I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth. But yeah, I thought that this would be like a win a supposed to lose fight where it's like, be pre be prepared to die, you, and then once someone interferes and goes, we're going to say nay to them to use, and you and they'll be like, what? <laughs> Weak to dark only. Wait, did I poison her? I poisoned her! Damn, lucky me. Alright, I'm having you guard, because I... I literally got critical... I literally got one shot by a critical. How, how else... Yeah. Just... Just shit, man. Oh my god. Face judgment! Wow. Alright then. Uh... Looks like I'm gonna have to equip a demon with my. Who had the? Who had the? Had the physical? Who had the physical reflect? Wasn't? Wasn't it Hecatonkeries? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, now I know. I'm gonna have to just keep using the the physical reflect because she is just out for blood. Holy shit. Like that's that's like twice now where the fight has just been abruptly just stopped in its place. Okay. Very well. Yes, yes, yes. Talk about the. Con talk amongst each other. See how he feels. Uh, be sure to enjoy ago. the complimentary don't cookies, but they are for everybody. Off. So don't think you can just hoard them all to yourself, Dave. <laughs> I don't know. It just turns out to be like a real kind of like one of those sit-down meetups. I'm Japanese too. As I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth. Even if it doesn't defend against magic, I'm willing to take that over having, you know, yeah. Yeah, 
piss off with that, you. Oh, I got her poisoned again. Sweet. Hell yeah. All right, let's do the critical. You ready? Corruption. Nice. safely and we'll be good. Haha! not going to have uses for that for all for too long. Uh-oh. Okay, that works. That 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 works. That works. All right. Good. I think I had her prep that. Holy shit. to recover MP a little bit. I do have a chakra drop. There, and then... There we go. Yeah, having, having Tetra Karkon help Helping is really, really nice. Okay. Uh, how much longer? Oh, her defense is back up. Well, let's fix that, shall we? Oh, f shit. 
Um... doesn't do much on magic should at least guard well against physical I will break you. ow okay she missed on some of it good there and there we go again because he's out of juice. Uh... Yeah, swap him out for Chimera. Tag is getting really lucky with these dodges. for the Tetracarcon to keep going. We're getting there. You've been able to beat me so far, but we're getting there. Uh, yeah, fate, fate, safe bet to use my last physical dampener. There. Yup. Safe bet. A very safe bet. Uh, 
Hecatonker's bunk. Getting there in regards to damage. There we go. Okay, took three, no, four attempts, but we did it. Four attempts and we managed to do it. Hell yeah. Impossible. How could I have fallen? So this is the power meant for us. Not bad now, Bino. God was right to be afraid. Perhaps I, too, will seek out my old knowledge. And so were our ties to Bethel severed. When we next meet, it shall be as adversaries. May none be so foolish as to cross me. I must inform Lord Shiver of this new development. Well, I'm done. All have forsaken us for their own selfish gain. Well, what Does did you think was going to happen? Sukuyomi. To see demon kind fall to chaos. To see all that Bethel has struggled for scattered. I truly couldn't be more satisfied. Damn. Entrusting this beautiful world to such a vain despot was always a mistake. We shall establish a new world order. One where countless gods can freely illumine the horizon. As for you, Abdiel, may you find your home in heaven. What was that? I couldn't hear you because of the music. Gotta love that cutscene mixing. So yeah, the summation of all that was essentially like, yeah, listen, your god is dead. So we're going to be the rulers, or we're going to at least be the ones that govern. By the way, I'd like to discuss our next move and our plans for the general future. Come speak to me in the conference room later. All right, I'm going to save because that was actually a tough... Well, it wasn't tough once I sort of figured out the strat, but I straight up got insta-killed a couple times there. Now then, I will go over our plans once more. As I stated earlier, the Japanese branch will become its own entity, separate from Bethel. And in order to save Tokyo, we are going to take God's throne. If there's anything you aren't clear on, now would be the time to ask. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. What's this War of the Gods? Ever since time out of mind, the gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the Creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power, enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. What is the Empyrean? The throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean heaven, or simply the Empyrean, as it has become known. That is where the creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Considering our fusion into a Nahobino, the claim is likely valid. Only Nahobino are allowed in the Empyrean's sacred space. As such, 
none have entered thus far. But you, however, can. Do not fear, I won't let you go it alone. I intend to become a Nahobino as well. Regarding the war of the gods, the Imperium, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. What is the throne? The throne deal? of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the Creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne, and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. Regarding the war of the gods, the Imperium, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. And what is what really is a Nahobino? A Nahobino is a god in the fullest or truest sense, our original form, if you will. In ancient times, we were all Nahobino, but when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him and diabolized us all. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Yeah, sounds about right. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls and all who came after. Huh. Ever since the fall of man, Demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves, but they were doomed to fail. Long it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory. But with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. Aogami's true name is Susanoo. As proto-fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the template. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. Okay, so Susano is what It is my is. personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. Understood. So will he be the one to create the world, being that only the Nahobino can do it? <laughs> it could very well end up being him. But what if I were to say that you, Yuzuru Atsuta, also have that potential? I do. After my time spent observing you, I am all but certain you are the one holding my knowledge. Okay, so it's like each individual human is holding the knowledge of some kind of deity or god, or being of some kind. What? Interesting. Yes. If you so choose, you too can harness the power of a Nahobino and recreate the world. Will you not do so in service of your home? But... that would mean... I'm the same as him? If I really do have that power, enough to save Tokyo... I'll do it. I'll become a Nahobino. Hmm. Your resolve is admirable. Excellent. We now have two Nahobino on our side. Atsuta and you. From here, we strike at Bethel headquarters, then make our way to the Imperium post-haste. Hey, uh, guys? You think I could be a Nahobino too? My condolences, Dazai. But you do not appear to bear the knowledge of an Amatsukami. Oh. Don't be disheartened. I sense yet another's knowledge. Can you tell him exactly? Because I'm actually curious. No way. However, only its owner can identify oh. it. So I suggest you stay on guard. A demon Watch it be Abdiel. Wait for you. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Imperium. I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno, given the density of Bethel's security there. 
So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid answer. Until then, please bear with me. Alright. So I guess that's it for that. So essentially it's like, okay, another Nahobino is going to exist. Hey, what do you think I should do now? I can't decide anything on my own. I guess I really do need Master Abdiel. Uh, say, uh, do you know where she is? I don't fucking know. I beat her ass, dude. Mm, you think she I might won. be over that way? I, I fought her in oh, a boss on. fight. Let's go see. I fucking... Yep, figured as much. Master Abdiel, are you alright? I lost to the Japanese branch. It no longer matters what happens to me. That's not true! You're not done yet, Master Abdiel! You saw what happened. Even an Archangel is no match for a Nahobino. Then maybe you just have to become a Nahubino too. I'll find the human who has your knowledge, and I'll bring them to you. That won't be necessary. Yep, figured as much. But I... They're already here. Yep. Huh? Thought as much. It is you, Ichiro Dazai. You are my knowledge. Me? I'm your knowledge? Wait, that means you can use me to become a Nahobino! The power of the Nahobino is forbidden. As the Archangel, I must not defy the condemnation. But if you became then a Nahobino, you could become your own master. Could... Just yeah, nothing really else to do. Just walk out. that whomst was what okay so we're gonna have two other versions and two other Nahobinos on our hey, side can you hear me who's there it's me listen we need to talk it's serious, but I can't really tell you here. Would you mind meeting me on the roof? I'll go on ahead. Is that the girl who was with me when we fought Lamu? I thought she was dead. I guess she's... I guess not. she isn't dead? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. 
Huh, she is alive. Sorry, I just showed up out of nowhere. I thought you were dead. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Oh, she's got demon stuff. I can hear it in her voice. The Tao Isonokami you knew did die. But her soul was reborn by a power beyond description, forming who I am now. As the goddess of creation, my new purpose is to guide the Nahobino to his throne. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late, I want you to reach the Empyrean and recreate the world. So a Nahobino. You risked your life for me and Sahori without even a moment's hesitation. To us, you're a true savior. And in every sense of the word. What power I have shall be yours. And together, we can forge a new future. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. Nod. And let us go forward together. So I guess must have fused into a Nahobino just God's after her death. Is dissipating. Tokyo and everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, make for the throne and create a new world, one according to your vision. Cat girls everywhere. And to foster that, I'll escort you to Dot, where the path to the Empyrean lies. All right. So yeah, now we're just gonna go to the th empty God Throne and basically recreate the world. Cool. We love to see it. That's that's the that's the vibe we like. A new realm of dot lies before us. One that leads to the Empyrean. Okay. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. Have you tried looking under the fake-looking dog turd? There are three keys in total. It used to be Have you tried looking under three fake-looking dog turds? Now? The branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves, so keep an eye out. Obtained a quest, the three keys. Panagia Tau. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that demon. Holy no! Cow! Why are you wow, back? Gods. Thanks for helping me out back then. Gosh, I don't 
don't know what I'd do without you. But whatever. I see you've got a different girl with you this time. What's up with that? As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm all you really need. Seriously, because you and I, we're... Ugh, never mind, forget it. <sighs> Anyways, count me in. Someone's uh... gotta keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally. All right, so Ueno. Cadaver's Hollow's got some new stuff. Cool. Good to know. Well, look who's here. What have you got that's new? Ambrosia, muscle drink. Life drain gems. Horus Succubus. Omoyatsumi. Narcissus. And that's it. Need any Take it off? Okay. That'll do for that. But yeah, we are now in a new area. Oh, a fucking large area too, damn. All right. I'd like to ask you something. As a Nahobino, we can reach the Empyrean and seat ourselves upon the throne. Doing so will allow you to orchestrate the laws of the universe. Yeah. In other words, you can manifest an entirely new world. So, should we reach the throne? What exactly do you intend to do? Create a world of order, create a world of potential. I'm not sure yet. I see. That's perfectly all right though. There's no like, need to rush. Like <laughs> you're right. asking a you're asking a what teenager to essentially like together. This hey, if you were a god, form. what would you do? I if you had the do the power to essentially rule forwards. over the domain of the universe at large and create worlds from nothing, what would you do? I'd make it so VTubers and anime girls were a reality. <laughs> it's not the same as the responsibilities that a protofiend feels upon creation, either. This is something that developed much later. It almost feels like it's come from a place of higher power than Bethel. Ah, my apologies for speaking so strangely. Please forget my nonsense. As always, I know my purpose is to lend you my strength so you can carry out your will. I want to ensure that you create your own destiny without a single regret. For this, I will do anything. Okay. I know I'm at a level where I can get these guys, so let's talk. The demon is trying to leave. What will you do? Watch them go. Would you have me leave empty-handed? Offer me a parting gift. A gift of parting. Now then. Offer me... What else do you want? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Alright, well, I need to recover to get MP back. Because, again, Abdiel was actually kind of a tough fight. What is... Is that... That's Jayu, I think. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's another large demon over there. Hey, a Meemaw.
the week to win. Easy enough. A lot of experience, too. Alright. Oh, man, we've got a lot of exploring to do. Okay, so the keys are near the abscesses. So let's head to the one over here, since it's furthest. Oh, hey, I can get this guy. I can get French Werewolf. Start talking to the demon. <laughs> Laughing ominously, what will you do? Watch him. You ignore me? After I go all to all the trouble of laughing for you, unforgivable, unconsociable, unconscionable, unconscionable? Why were you laughing? Well, that would be because I found this delightful little treasure just nearby. Of course, it's useless to me. Would you like it? Oh. Uh, thank you? Okay, that was nice of him. He was just like, yeah, I don't really need this. You can have it, though. Now, take my hand. Ignore him. So you wish to get the mo So you wish to get to the meat of the matter, eh? <laughs> Such rashness. Ah, you will then. How about Amrita Soda? One. Sivoda. Sivopla? Sure. Sivopla? Is that how you say that? Tremendous amount of your HP. Please take something else. Sure, and then I think that'll do it. Merci beaucoup. I am Beast Lugaro. Let's let's march onward together. Okay, cool. those.
Imagine how much of a weird existential uh, nightmare you'd have if you saw another version of yourself working for somebody that you're trying to beat up. Oh god. I think we may retreat. May retreat. Never mind, I'm, I think I'm good. I think we're good. Good, good. Alright, yeah, we've now reached a new area. This feels nice. Swap you out for her. I haven't really given her a good, a good Go. shot. Guard. Can't be too careful. Fancy animation immediately just reflected back. Fierce roar, what does that do? I don't want that. That's not a. That, I feel like that skill won't help me very much. Alright. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Hey! Uh huh. Okay. 
Yeah, this part of it is mostly just going to start the exploration bit, and, uh... Yeah. A lot of exploring and a lot of fighting. You know, my uh, accuracy with a lot of my attacks has not been very good lately. Like, heck of Tonkeries is been not hitting his rampages. Or maybe it's because Hecatonkeries just doesn't have good accuracy. I'm gonna swap him out. For... She's level 60?! Why are you level 60?! Also, I didn't know you were in my party! Uh... Uh... Okay. That is unexpected. Sorry, got a random, random number. Huh. I wasn't expecting, I, I thought she was just gonna be like, oh no, recover health or something, or be like a story party member. No, she she's in the party. Okay then. I'm gonna try this guy out. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. cross over there. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like I might have to hold off on that. Here you go. Hey, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'll have to head off to the abscess that's on the left most area. Let's head off to this direction and take care of that abscess, and then we'll uh, see where we go from there. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Okay, bunch of werewolves. Ooh, another demon I haven't gotten. Although I think she might be a little over leveled for me. Is she? Yes, by one. Damn it. Okay. 
Keep her keep an eye out for the future. Are you weak to lightning? Yeah, you are! You are weak to lightning. not having good luck with with hitting and neither of the enemies actually I can't tell what the lyrics are saying Looks like that's a dead end. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, uh... Yes! Been a bit since I had one of these guys. Oh, and it, it escaped though. Damn it! There she goes. Change out for G Coke Ten. Come.
Back. Your turn. Go. <laughs> and I'm dead. Oh no. Did I have to? I saved after I fought Abdiel. But I didn't save before going to Ueno. Alright. <laughs> uh... Well, I was wanting a return to form, and sure enough, we got that. Uh, so, the next time I stream this, I'll make sure to remember to save more often. Ever but at least we have the groundworks as to what's uh, happening. It is, uh, yeah, there is, like, all, now all creation. of these different branches of Bethel are going to be vying to be the, the new hot Enough. shit god. And we have to make sure we're the ones that get it. And also, uh, this dude and this dude can become Nahovinos. So... At the very least, you know, we're starting where we can get a nice big old open area. It just means I have to get the... It just means we have to get the, uh... The fucking... Werewolf and, uh... The star guy again. But that's hey, fine. what do you... I can't decide any... I guess I really do need to say... I... Probably oh. still at the summit. Yeah, and this is where it's just like, oh, you you must be Nahobino with me, please. Hey, then, can you hear? Oh, listen. And then we need to talk. And then we get something like, oh my God, she really alive. Yeah, and here's where, like, okay, we Sorry, get new. I just showed up out of nowhere. We get a new party member of some kind. I thought you were Dade. Yeah. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late. But can regular citizens see this as well? How weirded out must the they be? It'd be like, what the fuck? You My office building just faded out of nowhere. Sweet, I get to have beer now on my day off. To us. And then their favorite Izakaya just got faded away and they're like, damn it, I can't have my beer in Sukiyaki now. Or, what power I have shall be yours. Actually, is Sukiyaki something that'd be at a uh, together, we can forge a new Izakaya? Future. I don't think so. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. I want to hesitate this time. Oh, are you worried about me? Listen, I can fight off a demon or two on my own. So you have nothing to fear. Okay, so it's still like, all right, still team up. Is dissipating. Tokyo. And everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, make for the throne and create a new world. 
One according to your vision. I don't know, man. I was just going to be a second year in and high school and sit at the back of the classroom and look out the window doing the protag thing, man. Lives. God damn. And suddenly I'm brought into this world of demons and shit. Because, like, seriously, poor Protag just suddenly gets dragged through a tunnel into a blasted hellscape. Yep, and here we go. The path to the Empyrean. Path to the Empyrean, and then we're getting the lowdown of being like, alright, there's keys. We need to find these keys in order to... Uh, managed to make it to the throne. And then suddenly, she shows up. If I didn't do her quest, would she not show up? Eh, probably doesn't matter. Anyway, um, figured at the very least this would be a decent enough stopping place. A bit shorter than what I've been doing lately, but I figured at the very least... Uh, it's a nice return to form. So, thank you all so much for joining me on this one, even if it was a bit shorter than normal. And hopefully you all can look forward to more, at, and I'll let you all know about what's going to keep going on through Twitter and everything. So, yeah, just keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, peeps.